So I don't know, we may part ways with it, we may not, but we're definitely gonna keep you guys updated on that. Good, good, you ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. 800, 700 horsepower mode right now. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different and it's gonna be a super special one because we are really close to hitting two million subscribers. And I'm thinking that we're gonna post this video when we do hit that. So we are just truly blessed to be in this position and we are super thankful for each and every one of you guys that support us. And what we wanna do is actually bring out every single one of our builds, just line them up, try to fit them in this small area and just give every single one of them a wash, maybe do some ripping in some of them and also just give you an update on what's gonna happen to them. So let's just go ahead, dive right in with one of our craziest builds, the Lamborghini Huracan and give it a wash. All right, so the Lamborghini is finally detailed. As for the interior, it's already clean because we hardly ever get in this thing, but we're definitely gonna park this sucker and throw a car cover on it. But honestly, I never thought that we would actually own a Lamborghini, better yet, a Huracan, but you know what? It did come at a price, a huge discounted price that is because it was pretty badly wrecked. And we had a lot of fun repairing this thing and I know a lot of you guys enjoyed it as well, but we're actually not gonna sell this thing because we have been working on something big the past couple of months that will be coming up in a video here soon. But anyways, before we move on to the next build, we're gonna go ahead and fire this sucker up and just go for a little bit of ripping. right there. forgot how this thing felt. It's, it's been about a month since either one of us drove this thing and I gotta say it does feel good. Dude. But it's just an absolute beast, absolute ripper, but you know what? It's gonna rip harder with what we got coming for it. Hey, hey, not too much. This is gonna rip harder though, but not too much. For sure, but as of right now, we're just gonna drive a little bit more and head back home and move on to the next build. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna swap out right quick. One last rip before we put the sucker up, but the crazy thing is, this is our old high school right here, dude. A lot of good memories here, man, man. A lot of good memories, and I can't even believe, like, I would, imagine if you would've told your teacher, I'm gonna pull up here one day with a Lamborghini They something. wouldn't even believe us, they man. They wouldn't even believe us, man. That's, that's just outrageous. But you know what? We couldn't have done it without you guys, first off, so we really appreciate every single one of you. But anyways, let's hop in here and get back home. All right, here we go. A little rip out of the school. Outrageous turn signals on the steering wheel. I almost forgot. I was like, where's my turn signals at? Love the downshift. I gotta say the Lamborghini Huracan is probably one of the best supercars or sports cars for the price. Dude, we're just making popcorn back there, man. Alright, so check this out. The next thing that we're gonna bring out is our Mustang. Now, as you can tell, man, it has been sitting here for quite some time underneath the trees, got tree branches, and I don't know what that is, man. That's some that's some pretty crazy stuff we're gonna have to wash There's off. Some moss on it or something. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, we do have something huge planned for this thing. Actually, it's gonna be coming up here real soon in a few videos, right? Exactly, man. Here right around the corner, dude. Probably once a pops truck is done or something exactly, like that. Exactly, yep. But anyways, let's go ahead and pull this sucker out and try to get this thing all cleaned up.
right, so we finally got this whole entire thing cleaned up, gave it some CPR, some TLC, and it is back to life. But what we're gonna do right now is actually go for a little test rip. And let me warn you guys, these tires are pretty dang bald from all the freedom that it leaves behind, but I think we'll be all right. I mean, this quarantine has, you know, no crowds out there pretty much. All the crowds are inside, so I think we'll be safe. So let's go ahead and fire this sucker up and rip it a little bit. I think I hear the the wing back there, the GT350 car. Oh, I think we done busted our tire. Tell you the truth. Let me oh, turn this sucker around. Shoot. I'm telling you, man, that freedom that it leaves behind. Man, is... it's, it's going to leave some metal freedom behind here in a little bit from all the little things that are sticking out. I'm about to check it out. But yeah, them tires were super bald. They were just on the strands. But yeah, you know I just what? had to do a little bit of ripping. You know what I mean? You know what? We're back. We're back, back at the safe spot. So I think we'll be all right. Is it just me or does this thing smell like firecrackers? Yeah, it sure does smell like firecrackers, but look at this. Oh my goodness. We dude. got some tire right here, dude. Hey, we did a little little burnie right there, so I think we'll be alright. Let's go ahead and I guess that's the that's all the ripping for this thing, right? Oh yeah, man. Until we get some new tires, man. <laughs> do a burnie for the Sanders. Where are you gonna do it though? We got some weird gravel here. It's going yeah, screw it, man. It's a little too grippy. I mean, I would love to. I'm all for, you know, making some tire smoke, but... But we already busted one of them. Yeah, we already busted one. We're just going to move on to the next build, and we're going to give you guys the plans for this thing. All right, so we are back, and we did send it a little bit too hard because we almost blew out our tire fully, but you know what? It was all in good fun. And also, we were thinking about doing a burnout on this asphalt, but it is a little bit too rough, and I think it'll just blow them out completely. But we still got to move this car around, and also, we don't want to get rubber over this freshly washed car. But anyways, what we plan on doing to this thing is actually getting some more ripping power out of it. As of right now, it is pretty much stock. All it has is a cold air and a tune, and it absolutely rips, and we love it. But you know what? There's something that we've been meaning to do, and it's right around the corner, as well as a few other little things. But that's all I want to say for right now. But as of right now, let's go ahead, move this sucker to the side, and bring in another one. <laughs> car that we brought out is the GTR here and I gotta say this is probably one of the fastest cars that we own or maybe the Lambo is a little bit faster I'm not sure I know this thing will take off a lot faster than the Lambo Lambo may just have that top end speed but anyways this is an absolute blast car to drive but it will be probably one of the very first cars that we do decide to get rid of and sell what do you think we can sell this thing for? man we can sell it in the high 40s or the low 40s it just 40s. depends on the, uh the buyer you know what i mean it just depends on how we're feeling but other than that dude this car is actually super dude, clean super clean car is a little bit filthy right now but we're about to take care of that you want me to sell this car to you sell for, it to me right for now for the high, for the high 40s well this car right here is super lightweight it's got carbon fiber all the way throughout carbon fiber hood and trunk lid and splitter here looks absolutely amazing not only is it fast it looks good and also it is fully tuned out with the cob what does it have on it it's i cold think it air has intake. a cold air intake cob tune full exhaust i mean can't forget the wheels too man this thing is just sick here's the selling point spits fireballs on occasions oh yeah definitely spit some fireballs interior dude let's show them the interior interior is mint just needs to be wiped down ragged down a little bit there's no scuffs or scratches got the original gtr mats low 30 how many miles on it Thirty-eight thousand miles yep, 38 carbon fiber trim up in here i don't know if that's real carbon fiber but we won't tell nobody about that but anyways we're gonna go ahead and give this sucker a wash and we'll go from there Slips too. 
it does slip especially because the tires are a little bit wet i will be honest with you the transmissions in these cars are a bit noisy i've heard from multiple people about the gtr transmission even the newest one or the newest ones 2018 is probably already fixed but i think it's the case the transmission in the rear there's a bell housing that makes some noise but you get I'm, used I'm, to it yeah you get used to it I mean, it's not that bad you know but if you're in a super quiet car you'll definitely notice and whenever you throw this thing in reverse it does like a tractor go beep yeah beep. oh yeah that beeping does get annoying but other than that beautiful fun car absolute blast to drive on a it could be a daily driver oh yeah this is this will be the perfect daily driver for anybody that wants a daily a gtr <laughs> it's a fun car but anyways we're gonna do a little bit of ripping and catch you guys back at the house all right so we are back with the gtr and i gotta say there ain't nothing like paddle shifter mode all-wheel drive turbo sounds ball valves and even the perfect exhaust note it almost makes me not want to sell this thing but the reason why we would be able to let it go is because it really doesn't hold as much sentimental value as the mustang and it's not really as rare as the lamborghini so there's tons of them on the market but for the right price we'd definitely be able to let it go but as of right now let's move on to the next one <laughs> Alright, so it is actually a couple days later here and the next thing that we're bringing out is the Hellcat and honestly we just hit 2 million subscribers on YouTube which is absolutely insane and the love and support from you guys has been unreal and honestly we're just super happy to take you guys along this journey and we're just going to keep trying to bring you guys some of the best content we possibly can. We even got some pretty big things already in the works but as for the Hellcat it is clean on the inside and the outside and although it may look good on camera there is a few cosmetic issues. We're gonna go ahead and start with the very first thing and that is this carbon fiber hood here. This is one of the cheapest ones you could possibly get. Look at this big old gap right here. I think this is for airflow or something like that. And the front right here, man, you just like peel it open. When you go about 60, this sucker just like picks up. It's super sketchy. Dude. Man, this thing has been like bending in the heat or something. Like once it sits out in the sun, the whole entire hood just like formed into a banana. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So we got an OEM one, we haven't got to that. But as for the front bumper here, this is an aftermarket front bumper. You may not be able to tell, but there's some sort of weird lines in it. I don't know. We may have to get an original one. I think after this car is when we started buying all original parts. Yeah, dude, we, we figured it out that OEM parts are way better than aftermarket. I mean, some cars, they do fit right, but others, they just don't fit at all. And what happened over there at the bottom, dude? We lost our grill due to the aftermarket bumper. I guess it just didn't clip in properly, or it was probably the 700 horsepower. Definitely the 700 horsepower. I think that happened whenever uh, I drove it or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we're going to go ahead and fire this sucker up, do a couple rips in it, and then we're going to tell you guys the plans that we have for it. Good, good. You ready? Yes, sir. We're ready. 800, 700 horsepower mode right now. thing is just absolutely insane i forgot how fun this car is you know what i mean just straight up 700 to the rear wheels traction control <laughs> exactly that's the problem this thing's got so much horsepower but it just can't put it down man. can't put it down i mean we do what are we running like michelin's right now on the back of it or something? i think so michelin's possibly but it'd be nice to run like some wider tires I, I can see why they actually did the wide body hook you know because you know there's there's more grip to the with wheels you exactly, know what I mean? yeah so, it's a lot wider so you what know, if we more, just do the, the wide body or something like Dude, the wide body would be so sick. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, so we are back from ripping this animal right here. And honestly, we were thinking about selling the Hellcat, but since we are gonna be replacing a few body panels and doing a good bit of paint, let us know what you guys think about an OEM wide body kit. I think that'll be really cool. And since we are gonna be doing a good bit of painting, there is actually the option of doing a complete color change. Drop that in the comment section down below. But as of right now, let's bring in the next build.
right, so the next vehicle that we brought in is actually our Duramax, and this thing cleaned up really nice. Interior is already clean, so the whole truck is just spotless. But as for the future of this truck, we are planning on just getting rid of it because there's really not much more you can do to it. After all, it is a fully loaded Denali with a full suspension, a coilover suspension, and some nice forged wheels and tires. This thing, not only does it look good, it actually puts in work. After all, we did haul our F450 from hundreds of miles away, and this thing didn't even skip a beat, and it's still running to this day, no problem. And it is tuned with a few cold airs and exhausts and all that good stuff, so, I mean, there's really not much more you can do to this thing. How many thing, cold man. airs has it got on it, too? It got two cold <laughs> airs, man, two, three cold yeah, airs. Yeah, dude, this thing does work, man. I can't believe it actually hauled that F450, but really, we just don't use this thing. Yeah, we don't use it. The F450 is what we use all the time now to haul anything that we need and i mean we already got a few buyers for this thing oh yeah so we may be getting rid of it here real soon we'll definitely let you guys know but what do you say bring in the ferrari next yeah there's no reason to test drive this thing i yeah. mean it's just a truck yeah it's just a truck so let's just go ahead and bring in our ferrari So we got the Ferrari all cleaned up. It's looking fresh. It was really dirty from sitting for such a long time. And the reason why you didn't see us start this thing is because first of all, it had a really bad battery in it. So we had to run to the store and exchange it. And it fired right up after that. And a lot of white smoke actually shot out. So it was pretty crazy, but that's just your typical Ferrari right there. If you let them sit, things go wrong. And that's probably why our uh, engine's actually misfiring right now. I think we filed a plug because of the oil or something like yeah, that. Or, or even a clogged injector. And we did throw some injector cleaner in there as well, right? Yeah, injector cleaner, brand new fuel in there because it had an empty tank. So that hopefully that all runs through and makes it run a little bit better. If not, we're definitely going to have to change our spark plugs. That's probably going to be the next thing that we do to this thing, along with the windshield and the rear bumper that we already have. So all we got to do is paint that sucker. And we do have the windshield too, so we can go ahead and throw that sucker in man other than that we're probably gonna sell this thing when we're done with it because you know we just don't have time to maintain this car this car is a handful to maintain i mean heck we just left this thing sitting here and it won't start already so it's pretty crazy but other than that like when you have this car going 100 percent such a beautiful car i mean this one this spec personally with the vorsteiner kit and the full carbon and red interior and the drop top and dude. the and the spider drop top dude just a immaculate car and the army tricks exhaust Ooh. dude this shoots fired man it's all that good stuff man it's all we, uh, what you want in a ferrari you know exactly. what i mean but you know what we want something that we can build and create more content with and this is just not the car it's a yeah. cool car but yeah, once it's said and done you know all you all you can do is just drive it you know drive it on your wheel weekends or whatnot i mean it is a cool car but you know what we're probably just gonna pass this on to the next person let them maintain it and all that good stuff but other than that let's go ahead and move on to our next thing So the next thing that we moved on to is actually the GT3 Ferrari for first year warranty services. And as you know, we did do a wide body kit to this thing and all we really got left is a little bit of wrap, some decals and just assembling the interior. But before we drop it down and finish all that stuff up, we're actually gonna run to the tire shop and throw on a fresh new set of tires on these wheels. And since it's up on the left, it's just gonna be easy to access that right now. So let's just go ahead and take care of this and then we'll move on to the next thing.
All right, so the brand new tires are on and the interior is put back together. And I gotta say, man, this thing looks super sick. That's pretty much all we're gonna do to it because we are gonna do the final touches off camera. And this thing will be leaving here real soon off to the next person because there's still a good bit to go before it's 100% complete. But definitely be sure to follow First Year Warranty Services on Instagram to get an update on everything that happens to this thing. You're not going to want to miss out. But as of right now, we're going to go ahead and bring out the rest of our builds and give you guys a quick update on those. All right, so we brought out some of the builds that we didn't mention yet, and we just lined them up as best as we possibly could. We're going to go ahead and start with the S2000 here. As you know, we did do a lot of work to that thing. A couple engine swaps later and a complete color change, and that thing is just an absolute blast to drive. I mean, you drop the top on a super hot day and you just go down the road or up a mountain or something. It's just like a weekend car, super fun car. As for the Jeep right behind it, we haven't decided just yet because honestly, we haven't had it too long and we haven't tested it enough. So I don't know, we may part ways with it, we may not, but we're definitely gonna keep you guys updated on that. As for the cop car right there, that sucker is definitely a keeper. I mean, it's just such a unique car. It's all wheel drive, supercharged, and it's got all the bells and whistles, all the accessories, just an awesome car. As for the F450 back there, we are gonna keep it because we're getting rid of the Duramax. So that'll be our new build hauler and just absolute workhorse. As for the Apocalypse rig back there, we're probably gonna keep that sucker too because we honestly didn't have that thing for long. We haven't even used it much either. Uh, are we forgetting any? Oh, the, uh, the 370Z is parked back there. We didn't get to it. That was still supposed to be a drift car. We just didn't 100% drift it. I mean, we completed it other than the wing, but we'll get to that probably here once we get our shop built. Other than that, we, all we got left is just the Maverick and the Supermotos. We use those on the weekends. That's just like a way that we unwind from all the grind and all the hustle. But anyways, all this stuff wouldn't be possible without you guys. So we're just super thankful to reach 2 million subscribers, which is just absolutely insane. Once again, we just can't thank you guys enough. And honestly, we got some more things coming your way, some epic stuff. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also be sure to give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad to get an inside scoop before YouTube. And also guys, I do wanna mention that we just got a brand new t-shirt on the website. This is our latest design, our red, white, and blue flag shirt this is a super fire t-shirt and there's a very limited amount of them so if you want to help support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy one but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time peace